World Health Organization figures reflect more than 127,000 confirmed cases worldwide. More than 63,000 recoveries are also on record and more than 4,000 deaths. While the Cayman Islands is among the Caribbean islands, as we've said, experiencing its first corona cases, Mark Jordan, a Bahamian living in the Cayman, spoke to ZNS News today from the island. Cayman has recorded its first case, uh, positive case of the COVID-19 virus. It came in the form of an Italian passenger that we took off of a cruise ship. He had severe heart issues and needed treatment at Health City here in the Cayman Islands. Unfortunately, 30 of the doctors and nurses have shown symptoms of cold and flu and have been isolated and the hospital has been closed to the general public. We have two other hospitals that are up and running, so we should be fine. Uh, we're not surprised because Cayman, like the Bahamas and Jamaica, have a huge tourism industry that uh, is open to cruise ship passengers coming uh, into the ports and as well as the airport, where we have direct flights to the UK and to many large US cities. So we knew it was only a matter of time before the virus came to us. Cayman has issued a series of regulations and suggestions to curb the spread of the virus, but Jordan notes that social gatherings have a huge bearing on the spread of COVID-19. I think the biggest impact is going to come tomorrow with the churches. The Catholic Church held their last mass last night for the next six weeks, and then they'll reevaluate the situation after that. I'm not quite sure what the other Protestant, what the Protestant denominations are going to be doing come tomorrow, but that's going to have a huge impact here in the Cayman Islands. Schools are going to be closed for the next six weeks, so parents are going to have to figure out what to do with their kids. And then uh, in the workplace, most uh, jobs are can, are 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 being asked to have their employees work from home. So we'll see how that plays out. I think generally speaking, the big thing is just not to panic. People just need to just be relaxed about this. It's basically hurricane mode for us. You know, after a big storm, we're used to being isolated for a week or two or three weeks from the outside world um, as we